house? Is this the house? I think I passed it. What up? That must be in there with the raggedy roof, you know? I think I passed the house up. You gotta do a U turn. What up, what up, what up? The fun part you gotta find the house. Like this house on the corner right here needs some help too. Them are definitely vacant. A vaco bando. I'm up here in North County where all the happy people stay. North, north. Is this it? I don't think that's the house. What is this? That can't be it. That, that house needs some help though with that roof. They need a roof, a roof. I'm looking for, what is this, 9828? Is this, is this address even right? I think it's this one right here. No, that's a 42. So what the hell, am I on the wrong block? That ain't it. I guess I'll keep searching. 9828. That is 97. And they going down, so I was... This house looks vacant too. This house is everywhere all through. This mug bad. I don't know if I want to buy one with too many vacants. Just pull up in somebody's driveway. I was finna look at this house over here, but uh, I don't know. If I can't find it, I ain't gonna be looking at nothing. I'm on the street. Hmm. Whoop. I don't need it. I think it's, it's a 9828, but I'm not seeing a 9828. I thought that was it. What that say? 97. So that ain't it. I need 98, 28. Why the GPS stop me in this block? So the block ain't even right then. The GPS tricked me. Got me in the wrong block. 97. Okay. So that's the trick to the game. Never trust the GPS too much. Just trust it enough to get you near it. Because it definitely didn't take me to the right place. It's telling me destination was on the right. So let's see. Is this 98, 28? Let's say 98, 14. We getting close. This is people living out here. They got a car lot in their yard. Man. How many cars y'all got, man? Y'all selling any of them cars? I'm just playing. 98, 20. Your destination is on the right. Oh, now I want to tell me again. 98, 28. Yeah, this it right here. This house is small. So where the hell's the park at? You can't even park on the street. Where am I supposed to park at? On the street? They in the driveway like they own it. And they don't even own the house. Don't nobody get mad. I'm about to park in the street like a G. 20, 20, 20, yeah, yeah. Switch. What up, what up, what up, what up? I hope nobody mad that I'm parking in the street for a second. All right. They're going to be like, you need to move. So let's see here. Let's see. Uh, All right, let's take a look. Did I need a lights on? Turn your lights off. Can't leave your lights on. 98.28, right? Let me make sure I got the right place. That's what they say. Yeah, okay, I'm in the right place. Big front yard. I guess that's a plus or a minus. But people parking in the driveway like they own this joint. How you just gonna park over here? You live next door like, oh well. If I buy this, y'all gonna have to start parking somewhere else, bruh. Just let you know, this is what the neighborhood look like. They got so many cars and they got cars across there. The roof look okay, I guess. No, I got some damage up there on that uh, left side. Something going on special. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Something going on over there by that chimney. I don't know. Like they already ran through this mud. They left the dish network. Why they got the garage so close to the house? Shit, big dog. Oh, no problems. Stay in your yard. 
please. That's a big ass dog. Woof. Looks like it got some new windows or something. So that kind of helps. Beware of dog. Y'all was gonna let that dog get me like that. Dangers of the job. No, there is something going on up there. So, hope it ain't nothing too much. I got a big old backyard. A yard. I should have brought some goons with me over here. Got a little cellar to go to the basement. And a metal roof on the garage that you can't drive into. It's only storage. Okay, I guess. Is that door open? No, it ain't open. I got the lockbox code, so we finna see if that work in a second. I think somebody been in this mud, too. There could be shit living down in this mud. No, that's closed off. All right, so that's good. I don't know. That's why they don't want that much for this house. It's a good deal if, if, if everything looks all right. I think. House next door don't look bad. They got a nice yard, no fence. Brick house, though. This house gotta be siding. Stupid sighting. All right, let's go take a look on the inside if I can. If this lockbox could work. What up, Chris? As long as this damn dog don't have to get get me. At least I got my steel toes on. I have to put in some work on the dog. Let's see if this lockbox could. Damn, somebody got the code already on here. Is that bad? If I ain't even have to put the code in, just open it up and it's there. Whoever came here last has no respect for us. Let's open up. Hello, real estate. Hello. Anyone home? Leave that dog over there. We know that. Leave that dog over there. Clean this bad boy up. That's what it need. A trash out. I had 40 ounces. What is that? That's something I can sell. No, I can't sell it. Now, who would put a hole like that in the wall for no reason? Let's see anybody out here messing with nothing, right? All right. Look good. All right. Not going in for a second. Should have brought one of my goons with me. But you get that stag right there, though, if you want it. <laughs> Pile of trash is always free. Hello? Step over the trash, please. Hello? Yeah, that roof look, uh, the ceiling. Is this a closet? Barely. Yeah, it is something going on up there. I knew it was. Something special. Okay. I guess that's a room. I don't know what this supposed to be. Just a storage area? A middle area? Because it's really not a bed. I guess no, it's not big enough to be a bedroom. It's got a closet. But that's it. Change them batteries in that damn smoke detector. The bathroom. Ooh, you want to take a bath in that? It's time to take a bath. Somebody tried to do some work in here. They get an A for effort, but that's about it. I don't know how that tub got like that. Drizzling. There's your vanity. Look like that's salvageable. But that tub, I don't know, bruh. What's up? Y'all see me in the mirror? Now, who put the mirror over the dang on toilet sink? Uh, I guess if you want to get up, wipe your butt, and turn around and say, Hi, look, off getting off that toilet, and you're ready to go. <laughs> That's a big tub, but I don't know what's going on with it. Oh, snap. That's what I'm talking about. I hope that, that TV works. I want the house now because it got a TV in it. These floors, like, they got some slats on them. I don't know what's going on in here. It's a small closet, if that's even considered a closet. This needs to be a closet going all the way across. But that TV might be some good. That 40 inch. Maybe not. That might be even 50 inch. Shoot. You get a TV with it, this my kind of deal. 
Yeah, so this toilet, this uh, bathroom, I don't know what's going on with this tub. I'm trying to say where the shower at. They put the shower in a corner. Never seen that before. We're getting creative. This is called creative real estate. Let me check outside again. Don't get in here too deep by yourself. <laughs> Nobody messing with my stuff. Alright, we good. As long as that pit bull stay over there too. But yeah, who put this big old hole in the wall? So does this house look livable? I mean, or like something you can bring back to life? I didn't even see the kitchen yet. Another spot on the wall there. You say, hell no, Glow. <laughs> this is livable. Look at that. Look at that nice floor. Cheap floor. No thing, no bridge to go across there. Just, I don't know. A little small kitchen. A little small kitchen. Electric oven. A throwback microwave from 82. Definitely a throwback. Does this house have a basement? This house don't even have a basement. It's on a slab. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it do have a basement because it had that little walkout in the back. I remember now. Big old backyard, metal roof, little vanity. Not enough cabinets in here, though. I don't feel like. What goes over here? Refrigerator only? Small. The fridge. I don't know. The fridge might even go right there. I don't know. It's a funky layout to me. Or maybe you put your kitchen set right here and you eat and leave your trash right there like they did. But that's what it looks like. Where the basement door at? Do I even want to go in the basement? Ooh. Uh, maybe the only way to get to the basement is that outside way. Now, why would they make a house like that? You got to go outside to get to the basement. Got to have vision. You're right. You're right, Rich. Got to have the vision. Go get it. Someone will know exactly how to bring it back to life. You show sure right about that. These floors got a little slant on them. And then, uh, really, you know, need a good cleanup. Change them batteries. Do something with this tub. I mean, I don't know about the rest of the stuff in this house, though, because, uh, what the hell is this? Oh, somebody started bringing this brown stuff down, this fake wood. Or this. So that's what it looks like. No lights in the living room. Just this old raggedy ceiling fan in the dining room or whatever this room was supposed to be in. They could have went on to throw that half of a sectional out, too. So, hmm, what is that, a bag of what? I don't know what that is. That's spooky. So that's the kitchen, and that's enough of in here. And there's that dog that was going to get me. He don't even know I can see him. Does he look mean? He's going to bark at me when I walk back outside. They got a big old yard next door, too. What up, dog? See, the dog don't want me now. See, he don't want none of me. He was tough first. Now what up? <laughs> Y'all silly. So that's the inside, I guess. All I'm going to see for now. That tells you how much the house worth. I just opened the lockbox without putting in the code. The code was already on it. Spooky. That tells you how much they give a damn. So I'm going to lock it back up. And I'm actually going to change the numbers. I'm not going to do what these people did. I'm going to do the right thing in life. See, everybody don't do the right thing. But I did. Because that's just what I did. That's your new house. So I'm going to go back around this back side again and see what else I can see back here. Big old yard. They didn't go short on the land. These windows look kind of new, though. Not to mention I'm parked in the street up there because I couldn't park anywhere because the people that live next door are parking into this driveway like they own the place. I wonder what's back in this shit. It's a big yard. Good night. And I guess that's the way to get to the basement. But I, I do not think I'll be going there today. Oh, yeah. oh, there go my puppy dog again. That's locked up too. I don't know if there's something in that shit. Because you can't park in this. You can just store stuff. So I, I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. Like, what's up with this basement? It looks like it's locked up. All the stuff I need to see. Well, this is just a preliminary look at anyway, just to see if it's even worth messing with. 
Good enough for government work, so what do you think about this house? What would you pay for a house like this? It's a two bedroom, one bath, up here in, uh, what is this? Is this Moline Acres? Close to it. It ain't Castle Point, but it's near it. The neighbors. I should have talked to the neighbors. Hey, what's going on with this house? Let's see what the neighbors have to say. But that's how she looks. Far away. They got like 90 cars over there. Whole car lot going. That's how the rest of the neighborhood looks. Like the neighborhood. This is like the only house that's not. Well, why are these all brick? And then this one siding. And then this one brick. Why they make this house different than the other ones? Why? Why would they do that? And if you want to sell your house right here in the St. Louis metro area, that's what you do. You call that right there. Sell your house for full price. <laughs> Whatever full price is, right? Well, here come a racer down the street. Don't run me over, buddy. I'm jumping in. Squeeze! We made it. Get the hell off from over here. So that house right there, it's actually sound like a good deal. I mean, it looked like it need about... I don't know, because I don't look in the basement, so I can't give it a full analysis. But from what I saw, it may be workable if we can get those numbers right. If we can get those numbers to where we want them to be. I like it for about 10. You know, I'm cheap. I'll take it for 10. What would you take? 10 and I 12 and a half, about a little 15. I got to go look at another house over here, too. This other house I actually am buying. You say 20000 for that house? Oh, no. Mm-mm. I can get it for less than that. I can get it for... They want fifteen, But uh, they probably dreaming on that one. I need to get it for about ten. I feel better at ten. You know? Dang, that's another look. It's all vacant houses all down through here. This look rough, too. Wait a minute. You say 12 max. Yeah, I don't even want to be at 12. This is another little house down here. I don't want this, but you can see stuff in the windows. Like, what the hell is that about? And then it's like, that's vacant too. I don't know, there might be too many vacants for me, man. I don't mind a few, but it's like, I have to buy the whole block to bring everything back up. Yeah, this house looks vacant too, though, just because of the, yeah, that is vacant. I counted at least, what, eight vacants on this street? That's probably too many for my liking. Now that means my price goes down. Now I probably got to be at eight. Eight and a half. Here go another vacant, dang. And this dude driving like a bat out of hell. Go ahead, bro. You in a hurry, go ahead. You go ahead. Go ahead, man, you good. You in a hurry. He was in a hurry coming out there like a bat out of hell. Weirdos. Up here off Chambers and Halls Ferry area. So I guess this is what Moline Acres, because if you go on the other side, you're on that Casa Point, you're going to spend 20. Are oh, you talking about after the repairs and stuff? No, I don't want to be. I want to be all in about all in at 12, meaning I need to buy it at about what eight to make sure that I can't lose. But why that tub get so bad? Can it be fixed or do it have to be replaced? Which ain't going to be much, but you know. I just like to count all the numbers. I like it. I just don't like it. If that means anything. It really ain't pretty enough for me. It's kind of ugly. But ugly houses where the money's at. You gotta remember that. The uglier, the better. But you can't be in an ugly neighborhood. That's the trick. Man, this traffic don't play out here, boy. Woo. Can I get out here on this Chambers Road? Yeah, I'm not gonna spend 20. Reglaze that puppy? Yeah, that's what I think. Cause the other house I just got over here in Berkeley, that needs to be reglazed. I don't know, that might need to be replaced too. Lucy, hello. All right, now we're gonna turn. All right, enough of this place. Oh well, 
that's going to do it for now. Thanks for everybody that joined in. I'll catch you on the next time. Shout out to the replay viewers that watch all the way through to the replay. Make sure you follow me on all social media outlets at Chris Monroe STL. That's Snapchat, that's Twitter, that's Instagram, and all the others at Chris Monroe STL. Now, what are they, what are they building right here? Apartments, senior citizen home, whatever it is, they're spending that bread. I don't know what they're building right there, but that ain't too far from it. They're spending that money, money. But uh, what I will say, though, like I say, follow me on all social media outlets and uh, visit that website, Chris Monroe STL. Dot com. Do what you do, be who you be, and I'll see you before you see me. Peace out.